Cool. Okay, good morning, everyone. This is Michael Venezia, head trader at TradeView Markets. Uh, it is a Monday morning, December 5th, okay? There's no Fed speakers this week, or there's no, no major Fed. Well, there are Fed speakers. There's no major anticipatory moves on, on what's going on uh, with the Fed. So it's a stock peak, picking week. People are actually predicting if there's going to be a Santa Claus rally or not. I'm not. I'm still sticking to stock. I'll st I'm still into stock picking, not taking positions or adding anything into the fund. It just, you know, I, it just, it just, I don't feel things are settled. I don't think I'm going to miss anything. And that's the way I'm going to stick with it. That's the way I'm going to play it. Okay. So we are in trade gate, uh, trade view markets. I sign in just the same as everybody else, trade gate hub. Okay. I don't have to, first of all, correct. I, I, I want to give a, a shout out, if you will. I don't know if that's even an, uh, an antiquated statement, but uh, our red YouTube channel. Just look at the past maybe week or couple of weeks who's who coaches had on here. Uh Luke, do, do you do diligence? Do do your diligence on him. Well, uh, you know what? Just trust Hi, everyone, me. dude. Well, I look, I love that voice. Uh and getting back to the YouTube, I just want to show you. Not only the are we bringing high level. Listen, not everybody is right. And, you know, it, it, listen, it's it, nobody really knows. But the best thing is, you know, if you're not going to shoot, if you're going to play golf and you're not going to shoot par or 72, you know, at least you want to be players, you, uh, be around players that have a chance to shoot 73 or 74, not with hackers. So what we bring you here is look how many followers Luke has. Uh, our guest, Michael Lee, which is which was on Thursday of uh, Friday, Thursday and Friday, by the way, actually it was on Friday. Uh, and Coach brought in David Hunter. He's no he's no surprise to uh, having strong opinions a little bit outside the lines. Uh, Helene Meisler as well, a couple, a couple hundred thousand followers. So not only should you go back and listen to a video, whoever it may be, watch the videos, uh, get to learn. And, and that's that's it's a great amenity that we bring to trade data. OK, so Monday morning, I said, is the most important data of the week. I started posting last evening, which was Sunday, as I promised. And I'm not really going going to go into anything specific today with stocks because it is a Monday, a Monday, late Monday morning. And it's going to be one of those weeks. I'm not going to say it's going to be thinner volume by any stretch of the means because that would be I was, I mean, how would I know if there's going to be thin volume? That would be an egregious statement. But I want everybody really, if this is a, a this is a marathon and not a sprint in a process. Uh, get, disseminating this information on Monday and how it trickles through and acts out th th throughout the week is very important as the XLE is going lower. We're in that. Okay. I'm going to start off with the Lean's charts and let me just say something right here. If you're not familiar with it, I'll make you familiar with it. Regardless of gender, not that gender is a play, but I am bringing up gender because back when Helene, Helene still is, but when she was a, you know, she has the resume that I wanted at one time. Worked at Cowan, Goldman Sachs, Cargill, worked in Asia, Singapore, and Shang you know, I mean, she's in, she's even, she even picks horses, but Helene writes, writes for the real money, uh, a CNBC column. And we're honored to have her on here, not once, but multiple times to show her that, you know, uh, maybe we don't do critical mass and viewers at this moment. We certainly bring a high level opinion and conversation to the table. And I thank both Coach and Helene for being on. Okay. So let's go through the routine again. If I'm not here, the market's not really doing much as it, but I didn't really anticipate. Gordon Gecko, good morning. But last night I posted, as I said, what was good evening. That's my good evening sign. All right. Helene's charts. Industrials leading the way. No surprise, it's been a uh, Disney, uh, Walmart, uh, the, the Walmart, Home Depot, Caterpillar, DuPont. You know, there it is right there. Healthcare, my favorite sector. I'm not going to lie, besides the golds. Uh, but you know what? We've been buying the IBB instead of the XBI. The XBI consists of a little bit more of the speculative stocks. IBB has a little bit more of the uh, uh, best of breeds, if you will. I think they're sneaky still. XLE Energy. Everybody knows I'm short the XLE. By the way, it's the only thing I'm short. I don't really have any positions in in uh, in oil stocks. I haven't really broken them down that much to see which ones I like and why. 
whether one goes with natural gas or even something as complicated as like Rio or Rio, which does natural gas and a little bit of gold and, and, and metals. So there's the chart on the XLE and the XME, which you're talking about the metals right there. I'm sure Coach has something to say about that in our previous 930 video. And if he didn't, I'm going to ask him. GLD, my, you know, this is my trade so far. You know what I mean? I, it's going to be some, first of all, I'd like to see that a reverse head and shoulders. But it's going to take some time because A, Helene's pencil is very thick in this situation. And B, you know, we're coming up to a lot of key technicals on indices as well as even the VIX being at that level, which I'll point out in a second. So am I, am I, am I, I'm not in a rush to put my buy stops to break through it in an aggressive manner and if for, to go to 172 in May. I'm in them. Uh, but there's the chart on the GLD. Like I said, I'm sure Coach is way more proficient than he usually is, and I listen to him. Uh, DXY, same, this is my point as well. Here's the chart on the GLD. It's no surprise that the, G, the DXY would be similar. So if the GLD breaks through that level, there's no going to be surprised that the dollar is going to follow. You know what I mean? The, the, you can't have more correlation than this. Between the, 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 the commodities, the stocks may be... Uh, be a different story just because when the market's going up then the stock to, uh, stocks do lead the commodities first thing coach reiterated in my mind all right consensus bulls the most since january by the way this is december so we're talking 11 months so you know what i mean it's it, it, as, as everybody that knows with this video i'm still neutral hedge funds are basically back to even they covered their shorts uh i'll even go to this the goldman position i'll jump ahead Goldman clients do some selling this week. Their sector is still breaking out, coming into money. This is short-term sentiment, still at stock picking. I posted some charts, not to jump ahead. But the good thing is you can go back right here and watch the video here on our YouTube channel. It's brilliant. It really is. Okay. Take a sip of the coffee here while I digress. Okay. Good info here, man. Okay. And getting back to those uh, edgy charts, for lack of a better term, all right, consensus bulls, what, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do by now, click those videos. This week ahead, no Fed blackout period until 1213. So there's the, there's this, you know, I, I'm trying to, not trying, I am educating myself and I'm a voracious reader. People closer to me know that. So I had to post this. Is it going to really affect your trading? No. But it may, but I'm just saying that things are still out of bounds. And I'm not talking out of bounds with like a, an ARC stock making a move that it shouldn't. I'm talking about the 10 year. You know what I mean? So Charles Biello, nobody's surprised. I mean, he's the guy's a, one of the best. So you should be, just look at this. That's what you have to read. It's reading material. Although the, percent, the percentage of stocks above their 200 days continue to show positive breath. That is either, that's, I mean, it's yet to be determined if these charts that we're talking about, or I'll even go right here because I posted it right here, all weekly candles, weekly candles, NAS, the, 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 the Russell, small caps. So here we are. So everything, even, by the way, they look similar on a daily candle as well. I'm not a candle guy, but I have to be because this is what they're using. Uh, this is the this is what this program uses, and I accepted it that way. Don't get me wrong; I'm not held hostage. But all these charts are on uh, all these char charts as we speak, going into the end of the year are uh, neutral. That's neutral to me. Believe it or not, that's not bearish. I know we're in a downtrend, but this goes up another. This goes up another, you know, couple of uh, percentage points, if you will, on top of. Uh, well, the consensus bulls, I don't mind a barrel because they're still neutral. On top of uh, stocks above the 200 day, I got to rethink things. Meta, here's the chart on Meta. We posted it this morning, went up. Why is this chart so small? I'll I'll make them bigger. I, I You know what happened? I know what happened. This is what should be. The, the VIX, could it go to 16 or a half? But trust me, that would hurt. You know what? And that, that might, they might cat up. They might capitulate. <clears throat> Pardon. If the Santa rally does come to fruition, They'll capitulate these things. The VIX will be around 16 and a half, 17. And, you know, maybe there's some selling, who knows? But, you know, that's yet to be determined. I am a stock picker and a trader. I'm not an analyst. Although, uh, I can fool some D Dog, okay? There's something going on with the stock, especially with all the good action in Koopa Software and Okta. 
They're just acquiring a lot of stuff. This is Matt Jacobson, man, he's going for it. And this guy's been right. Not 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 like the, the guy on uh, on uh, Hassan. Here again, I wanted to show you this in I guess in in, in chart form. Uh, right over here, the first cross. Now look what what happened. It does back and fill, and it's still yet to be determined. But the first weekly eight twenty one EMA cross over in two years. I, as everybody knows, let me go to this. And this seems to be the predominant one. It's not because I do it. It's because I like it because everybody else does it. You know, I use the eight days in red, the 21, the blood, because I use the red, the eight days, the blood one, meaning I don't want to get graphic, but maybe I am. That's really the short-term sentiment. The 21 days more intermediate, the 50 days aligned in the sandwich trend and the 200 day in greens, the big daddy, it's all that really matters at one point. God forbid you have to go to the weekly on a 200 day, but I do use the eight and 21 day. I'm open to suggestions or into, I know how to interpret uh, everybody else's charts, if you will. It's like going to another doctor's x ray machine. It might not be my machine, but I get it. Netflix, everybody knows how I feel about this. It's one of my favorite positions. It opened down today. It's down 88 cents after having a move, which I'll show in the charts. I'm okay with it. All right. CFT, CFTC weekly report. Educate yourself. It's not 50 pages, but you know what? It's consistent data. And like I said, if it's hard reading, if you will, I always post it. So, you know what I mean? It, it not, you know, just get to know it. Sector sent, but that's field lowest. Everything seems to be, with, you know what? I didn't even get a really chance to look at this. Basic materials, which I think comp take a lot of the Dow. Something's ripping here, as usually is when I'm on this. Biotech, a little pullback. Consumer discretionary, okay. Fins, energy in the middle. Consumer staples. All right, so they're. No wonder my uh, Weight Watchers is going down. No, I'm joking. Consumer staples. All right, that's 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 positive to the inf negative inflationary sector right here. They're a little overbought. Let's see how they act. Fins. I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fa fan of financials at all. At all. If I can give my or be give my analyst healthcare. You saw the chart there. Industrials, little rest, REITs. And I don't play them. Oil producers, neutral. Miners. I'm buying on a dip. And the next ones, what? REITs. No. Did I put, post two of these? Or Mike V. Faux Paw, Fins. Oh, there it is. Technology. I like that pullback. I'll take this right here. Semis. All right. They lead the market. I'll take a little rest. Retail. VFC had some bad numbers, and this is good for anti inflationary utes. Let them pull back or go down. Credit default swaps. It's really a nice issue. When credit default swaps and money gets to be an issue, they're going to be around this. Uh, I guess you would say this 500, 500 to 550 level. What are we based at? Crawl to fit swaps, and that's an index. Yeah, all right, right around there. Not an issue yet. Goldman. I mean, this is part of the Monday, the Monday at Monday morning plan conversation Goldman Sachs are having with clients. Is it good reading? Key events this week. We give it to you. Tell Ray posted that what seventeen hours ago. There you are, Jake. Telray, that was the chart to look out for. Here's Telray, change. Here's the chart on Telray. Broke out of the 200 day, needs a little bit of rest. But if you look at Telray, you look at CGC, and you look at our MSOS, which Coach didn't like, it's probably not even up that way. It's all right. But MSOS was a good one. And we, it stalled for a long time. It took long enough. It didn't hurt you. The RSI never plummeted, but if it, as long as it held that 1317, you're up at 1431. It's not a barn burner. What's going on here? Cliff, Best Buy, short more Best Buy. Why am I shorting Best Buy right here, you ask? I'm going to tell you why. Because retail is weak today. And this, oh, I'll tell you, uh, where is it? Yeah. Hold on a second. It's uh, it's here. Where was that D dog information? This might be a longer video, but that was on Trend Spider. So watch this one. So what we do? Go back to Trend Spider, which I subscribe to, because our boy Jake gave us the time. Tell Ray everybody's pointing to it now, of course. But last night it was this. When we talk about uh, Best Buy, Walmart. They're acquiring. Interesting. They've been wrong, these uh, insiders, but hopefully they'll be right on Best Buy because I don't like the retail sector at the moment. Trust me. 
uh, D-Dog. That's where also Cynthia sometimes going on D-Dog. So this is some part of the process I use. Best Buy. Best Buy sees its big inside of the year by a long shot. They're blowing out of Best Buy. So when I saw this, I saw retail was a little bit weak. I went to my charts. I went Best Buy. Yes, it is over the 200-day, a little extended, but then I went to the weekly. And it's pinned up against the 200 day on the weekly. Do I think it's going to be, a, do I think it's going to go back to 60? No, I wouldn't mind it going back to this 50 day on the weekly, which was 82. That'd be $4. I'm not saying I'm, I have five figures in it in shares. I have what, 4,800? So it goes back to 82. That's fine. Like I said, there's my overhead plan on Best Buy. Insiders are selling, are selling. Everybody knows here that insiders are usually early. What's going down here? Best Buy sell short. Boom. Oh, I know what's going down. Cliff. Cliff was a good position in my theory. I'm in Cliff. I like the Cliff. I want it to hold above 16. I like the Cliff. But do you get my opinion? You get my uh my point on uh on Best Buy. You know what? It's a safety net for me. Well, I don't know if a safety net is because it's what an $86 stock, but I'm comfortable with my entry. Okay, back to Trade Gate Hub. Spy first, we already went over that. Okay, we went over that. That, 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 that. There's a boy, Larry, had a fine our, uh, Netflix call. I'm not saying buy it here, it needs a little rest. It certainly has shown something. SPX is Larry. I'm giving you multiple views of this. Believe me, I'm not biased. If there was percentage of stocks below the 200, they post the same thing. But this is it. Can't fight the information. The 40 day is the 40 day moving average everybody happens to use. Uh, G Money, I'll post this in a bigger, bigger uh, form, but there's interest. The IBD's top 15. I can post the top 50 if you want. Biotechs facing binary FDA decisions in December. There's your plan on Guild TG. So, right there, if you want to play bios into a number, that's your plan. I don't, if you want to be a day trader, well, to a degree myself, which I am lately, by the way, I finally got out of some exhausting positions. That's all you need. Stocks with right NIO on Friday, 70 million, huge range, XPEV. So you bought NIO, you bought XPEV, all the China stocks. You know what? And they might be down today, but Billy, by the way, opened up three and a half points. So a stock has that has uh, 28 million shares that normally does 13 million, 200% of its volume with the, with a 16% uh, a range, 16% range would be a two and a half dollar, three dollar range, a $19 stock. Like I, Coach and I say, I don't care. I don't care if they make uh, uh, widgets. It's a good thing they all go with China because the China stocks trade together, and that's very good. Cool. Same thing on the downside. Like I said, not biased. Okay, OPEC news uh, earnings for the week. What, what, what do I really want to look into? Signet probably shorted cons. Nothing good. Toll Brothers. That'll be a big mover. Smith and Wesson. The gun people play. MDB is going to be a big one. There's your S, S Sentinel One, SG Money, GameStop. All right. Nobody cares. Although Warren Buff, or the, uh, what's his name? Carl, Uncle Carl took a big position short. And in fact, do your research. Sienna will be big. Costco will be big. Docu All right. So Thursday's a sexy day. Julie, RH will move. Hovmanian, Sienna for the optical sector. All going else with the plan. Good morning. Mac reviews. Couple of bio news. Kramer. This is why China's been up. He's actually right. Uh, always stocks that we give you gapping up and down. And why? It's a good plan for today, man. Tilray, good call again, Jake. I said it. Watching it. Didn't have it. But Jake made a good call. Let me go back to the main one. <coughs> Pardon me. Hi, Mike. Cannabis popping, bro. You're right, big daddy. You're right. And I posted it last night. Keep your eye on Tilray. That's the best of breed. Well, it's a short squeezer. MSOS, as we said. And CGC. You know what? CGC is just too... Let me go to the charts on these cannabis stocks. CGC is just too he heavily held. You know what I mean? It's got too much overhead supply because at once, see how it doesn't have any of these gaps. Once it was one of the best ones, but you go to Tilray, as I said, now into the five, you want to go to MSOS. What's Cron doing? Cron 350. Let's keep an eye. All the low flow, it's VFX, which I once loved. Now it's 217. No interest. Why might be? Because we're not trading stocks under four anymore. Fact, the New Year's resolution. And I'll show you my screen. I'll tell you why. Uh, so let's go back to that. Or you can go back to the MJ, the Michael Jordan marijuana at ETF. It only has a million shares today. I'm not really sure what the average volume is. It's around there, a little bit lower, as you can see by the chart. So it's not sexy for me. 
If it's something you want to take a position in and believe in it, certainly I get it that, you know, I get why the story is there. Okay. What did we post this morning? Bob, a couple of good trades. Amazing run. Very bullish on Cliff. I still am. Where is this bastard? Now it's hurting me. Not a much. I'm longing from 16 Cliff, 1636. If you're going to trade, pay, but the only reason shorting BBY still in it, as I said, the reason uh, cover half opening print on uh, Baba. Billy is the gauge. Short LI is the, is the moving LI, Long Island this morning. Right church, wrong pew, LI, Long Island. Stock went from, doesn't mean if you're not in it, it doesn't matter. It's still got juice in it, no matter what, 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 24 to 21. So if you see LI do that, you go and you say, let me see what XFED is doing. You short that, or you short the other ones. I bet the Lucy, I finally sold all that. There's my Lucy. I think I sold 24,000 Lucy. I said, enough is enough. 10, 15, it wasn't going. I blew out of it because I knew it would go through 10. Now it's 970, so I had 28,000 shares times three. So I paid myself a quarter. And now I don't have a headache in what's going down now. You know, a lot of these stocks turned or were up nicely this morning and turned around. U was positive. SI still going lower. Am I on this chart? I'll show you what I'm looking at. UAL upgrade. Let's see if that holds. That's been acting well. Apple, right in the danger zone. No interest. Netflix. There's the chart. You know, if, if, I don't care if that gets knocked down. That's what I'm in. I'm going in. I'm, I'm in it. Baba had the 200-day pressure. The first one to go negative was uh, PDD, I believe. I don't have any interest in shorting that or buying it, but that did go negative. PDD. I mean, listen, if you're not in other stocks, because I, I have a portfolio and I choose that, and I like that, by the way, but as the active trader, I mean, you got to be aware of what these China stocks are doing. Stocks went from 89 to 84 without a tick. Or you know what? Even if you bought them on the dip, even that double buck right here. Very good technically stocks. China, they have a lot of volume. I know they have a bad connotation because it says China. Oh, what's going down here? I heard SPR. I'm long. I'm still long that. I was buying more SPR all morning. 2712. That goes with Boeing. There's a long term on SPR. Love it. Long term on Boeing. Like that even better. SPR, there's a big component to Boeing. I have, you know, I, I'm going to actually hold this one. <coughs> Pardon me. What else? Something going down there on oh, the market. Tree, get up. Let me finish. Any questions? Assange still bad. Wow. BTU is good. But, you know, it's UUP now. UUP, the XLE. I'll show my screen right now. Hold on a sec. All right. Hold on. And, uh, yeah, hold on, let me share this. See what the wise guys are doing. The futures are going lower. Cream mature, we'll just try and see a couple of, it's 1130. I have a couple of things. Cream mature, chirping in on anything on some macro call. Worried about the SL Green dividend. He's worried about a read, I'm not. Next. What's going on with the uh, bio stocks? Let's see what bios are moving. Derma, KPA, KPTI. That's what I follow on bio stocks. Let's look at Jesus. Apple bearish, Amazon bearish. Delta calls, spy bearish. Oh, 10 o'clock ISM passed. ARI, GME bearish. NEM June lotto. They're going out in June in the... This is what I talk about. I want to see. Guy step up for a buck 30. He goes back all the way to June for new month. 65 calls. Somebody backed it up with an opening bet of 128. I like it. Kroger, another trade view position. I came back a little. Here's Boeing. <clears throat> yep, it needs a it needs rest. Boeing needs rest. Boeing needs rest. Boeing's got to dip around, but we need rest on but 175 on Boeing. We need it. Bye. Apple, GTLB, TSM, Warren buying more, Chewy, bearish. You know what the kind of day flow when dealing a riot. All right, there it is. They're buying riot calls. So we're buying some uh, some lottos. AFRM, they're probably buying some calls before the news that, that I posted, the MRC, nothing. Gilead, Google, 
June calls on Google, like it. PayPal, December, not interested. Square, December, not interested. Coin, December, not interested. I want to see bombs like that. New month's good. It should be good. So I go over these all the time. And if there's short bull flow that I that I follow, it, don't get me wrong. But there's nothing, nothing really here I'm interested in at the moment. HBI seeing April call buying. That's coach's call. HBI. So April call buying, paying 60 cents in Haynes brands. They make t-shirts and of the like. Michael Jordan likes them. Not interested. Why? Not a six dollar stock. I'm not going to do that now. All right, guys. Any questions? I'll leave it there. Thanks on the XLE short coach. It really wasn't that difficult. It was about really if I just wanted to short it at uh, what price. You know what I mean? And instead of just egregiously saying let me short and leave it, I, I kind of built into it in a nice way. You know what I mean? So I don't have to. I got good prices. That's all I'm saying. There's the XLE. What am I looking for? I'm going to let this run. Is the XLE all right? It's curling. Everything's good. now the curl, the curl broke the curl. So what am I looking for? At least I look for this gap here at eighty seven. I mean that's not what monsters trade. If I'm going to look for some sort of you know uh, rotational pivoting, but at the very least I'm not going to look. At, I'm not going to look until at least eighty seven and a half. The strike price. There's also the gap. So that's where I'll look at the you know at the best. So I'll leave it there. All right. So nobody's giving any questions. I'm not getting. Uh, so leave it at that. So until then, it's Monday, disseminate all the information, go back in the stocks room and all I posted and go back to the YouTube channel and go over the Monday's video for Coach and I.